Hi, I'm Cheryl Tay and today I'll be taking you through a high intensity interval training session. So there are three segments to my workout. Usually I call them the appetizer, the main set and the dessert. You'll definitely love the dessert. Okay, um, we're going to start with warm up first. We're going to start with 20 jumping jacks. Okay, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up with ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, we're gonna go into butt kick. So the whole point is to kick your legs up and try to hit your butt. Okay, 20 times. Ready, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, Walk forward into a high plank position. Walk back. Okay, this is one. Let's do five more. Make sure you come all the way forward, all the way back without bending your knees. Okay, if you have to, you can bend your knees slightly. Make sure you come forward into a high plank. Okay, two more. Whew. I'm getting warmed up. And last one. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of stretching. So left over right. Yes, left over right. <laughs> Make sure you're pulling your arm across. Change. Over the head. And change. And let's rotate the shoulders forward 10 times. And now backwards 10 times too. Okay, stretch eight. And change. Okay, and that's it for a warm up. So, for your appetizer, I have something called every minute on the minute. So, how it works is I'm going to give you a set of exercises and you have to complete it within a minute. So, for example, if you take 20 seconds to finish the workout, the exercises, that means you have 40 seconds to rest. So, basically, the faster you do the workout, the more rest you have. But, be careful because you don't want to go out too hard and too fast and then end up dying for the rest of the sets. We're going to do 8 minutes, so every minute on a minute. So every time a new minute starts, you restart the exercises again, okay? So we're going to have 10 thrusters and 10 push-ups. So again, like I said, you do 10 thrusters, 10 push-ups. If you take 30 seconds to do it, you have 30 seconds to rest. The minute the beeper goes again and a new minute starts, you restart 10 thrusters, 10 push-ups. If for some reason you get very tired and you cannot Finish the 10 thrusters and 10 push-ups in a minute, it's fine. When you hear the beat, just restart 10 thrusters and 10 push-ups again. Okay? So, let me show you what a thruster is. So, it's basically a compound movement. It consists of a squat and then you immediately transition into a press. So, if you have a weight, you can use about 5 kg. I'm using a 5 kg dumbbell. Or you can fill a shoe bag or a duffel bag. You put it with um, books, fill it with canned food, anything that will make your back heavy. Okay, so you go into a squat and as you stand, I want you to immediately press up. Okay, so there's no break between the two exercises. You go down to the squat, stand up and use the momentum and drive the weight up above your head. So this is a thruster. Okay? For a push-up, guys, make sure your knees are not on the ground. Girls, you can do your knee down. Keep your elbows in, and go down and up. 
Okay, if you cannot go all the way down, just go down as low as you can, and come back up. That's fine. Okay? So, you ready? We're gonna do 8 minutes, 10 thrusters, 10 push-ups within 1 minute. And you can get the rest as long as you want, as long as you finish your exercises. Ready? Let's go. So we start with 10 thrusters. I need to count, not lose count. Five. <laughs> One fluid movement. Nine. Ten. Immediately go into your push ups. Take the elbows in. Nine. Okay, so I'm done with my 10 thrusters and 10 push-ups. So I still have 20 seconds on the clock. So use this to catch your breath. We are still doing it. Come on, get your push-ups in. Let's go. Get ready. You have about 15 seconds left. Once you hear the bell, you immediately go back to your 10 thrusters and 10 push-ups again. You got it now? And we're gonna do it eight times. Okay? For eight minutes. Ready? Five seconds. Let's go. So make sure it's one fluid movement again, as I said. Four. Oh no, I can't lost one. <laughs> yeah, do one more. Four. Extra. Push up immediately. Guys, make sure your knees are off the ground. Come on, you have 20 seconds to go. So try to keep a pace that you will not die out too fast. Okay, I know you want to try and get as much rest as you can within the minute, but at the same time, don't go all out and then like die for the rest of the minute, okay? Okay, get ready for set number three. We're gonna start in five seconds. So keep the weight close to your chest, press it straight up. And make sure that you're squatting low enough with your thigh parallel to the ground, okay? No water squats here. Okay, Okay. 20 seconds more. Come on guys, let's go. Get the knees down. If you're starting to get tired, it's okay. We still have five more rounds to go. Ten seconds. Finish it. If you're done, great job. Let's get ready for the next minute. In three, two, one. Squat. Press. Squat. Press. Make sure you count, okay? Lose count. Start on zero. You want to break your push up up so you can do like three, catch your breath, three again, catch your breath, do three again, catch your breath, and then the last one. Okay, so it's fine. Remember, you want to think about, you want to think about enduring the entire eight minutes and not <laughs> killing yourself in the first four minutes. Plus, this is only your appetizer. We're still gonna main course. Ugh. Ready? Here we go. Pressing and your arms are next to your ears, so you're pressing them directly overhead and not forward in front of you. Okay? Ooh, I'm feeling the arms! Two more. One more. 
By now, you'll be starting to feel a little bit more tired. It's okay to take um, your reps a little bit slower as long as you finish within the one minute. Okay, come on. Up above your head. If you're done, fist bump! Great job, guys! Ready in 5 seconds, last minute, okay? Last minute. Everything you have, come on, let's go. 1, do it with me. 2, let's go. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3 more, 8, 2 more, 9, and 10. Last 10 push-ups. Come on, come on, come on. Don't give up. Woo. A little bit of a break because I'm going to start to explain to you what your main course is so you can catch your breath and get your drink. So 15 seconds. If you're not done, hurry up. Come on, come on, get it in. Last two push up. 10 seconds, guys. If you're done, good job. Ready? In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay. Okay. I hope my lashes don't fall off, man. Okay. Now, for the main course, we have 5 exercises, okay? You're going to do 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, and that's one set. So you're going to do 3 sets of those, okay? I'm going to go through the 5 exercises with you and show you. If you don't understand, it's fine. While I'm doing the set, you can try to follow. We're doing it 3 times, so hopefully by the second set, you should get, you should get an idea of what we're doing, okay? And between sets, you'll get 45 seconds rest, so don't worry. Get a bit of okay, so the first one, we're going to do weighted jumping jacks. Okay, if you have a small weight at home, like I'm using a 3 kg dumbbell, that'll be great. If you don't, you can use a 1.5 liter bottle, fill it with water, make sure the cap is securely fastened. You don't want to be spraying water all over your house. Uh, happened with someone before. Otherwise, you can just use um, a cushion, a ball, or just do body weight jumping jacks. Okay, so it'll look like this, weighted jumping jack. As you go forward, your legs are out, in, up, and down. Okay, so it goes one, two, one, two. Okay, so each time your legs open, your hands go out. So you go forward and up. Okay, I'm going to show you to you again from the side. Forward, up, forward, up. Okay, so that's weighted jumping jacks. Again, if you have no weights at home, it's okay. Just do the usual body weight jumping jacks. Okay, the second one, we're going to do single arm dumbbell swing. 
I'm gonna use the 5 kg dumbbell. Okay, same thing. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can use your bag that you that you were using earlier. Uh, fill it up again up to about 5 kg or more. You know, if you're stronger, you want to be heavier. Now, a dumbbell swing. I want you to stand shoulder width apart. The weight should be between your legs, your knees slightly bent. I want you to swing it back slightly, and then as you stand up, stand up fast. Use the momentum and swing the dumbbell up. Here you go. Watch the hips. The hips must fully extend as you stand up fast. Okay, so single arm, if you find it too heavy, you can use both arms and swing it. Okay, just swing it to about eye level. That's about, that's, that's about it, okay? So that is your single arm or both arms, dual arms, dumbbell swing. The third one, we're going to do jumping squats with a pound. Now, a jumping squat looks like this. You squat, jump, jump. So as you jump, notice I'm using, I'm using my hands to explode. Squat, so explode up, land in a squat immediately. So one, two, pause. One, two, then go one, two, and then pause. One, two. So a pause is a little, little mini movement here. So after you land in a squat, you just pause. One, two, and you go again. Now, if you have any knee problems or your legs are really tired, you don't have to do a jumping squat. You can just do a normal squat. So one, two, then pause. One, two, and go up again. Okay, so you have an option of doing squats or jumping squats. Now the fourth one, we're going to do Arnold press. So who's Arnold? Anybody called Arnold? Haha, <laughs> not funny. Okay, so Arnold press is also a compound movement. It's made up of a bicep curl immediately followed by a shoulder press. So if you have a pair of dumbbells, you can use uh, on both hands. Okay, then you can do bicep curl, shoulder press. If you only have a bag, like just that one bag that you've been using throughout, Okay, try to balance the back, hold the handle of the back. So bicep curl immediately, turn it, shoulder press. Okay, as you transition it up, make sure you're not pushing it forward or too far back. Okay, so make sure you go directly. Your hands, your arms, sorry, should be next to your ear. Okay, so Arnold press is one, two. Okay, one fluid movement. Now the last one, everybody's favourite, burpees. Okay, we're going to do burpee, plank jack. So a plank jack basically means going to plank position and doing a jack. A jack, just, uh, a jack means your legs open and close. So burpee, high plank position, legs out, plank jack one, two, with the legs in, jump. That's one rep. Okay, I'm going to show you continuously. One, come up, two. Okay, so those are your five exercises. Weighted jumping jacks, your dumbbell swing, uh, your jumping squat with your pulse, your Arnold press, and your burpee plank jacks. So we're going to do all five, 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Go, forward, up, forward, up. So just keep, find a rhythm, find a nice constant rhythm. Just keep jumping. You need a little bit of coordination here. Keep the arms moving. So you go forward, up, forward, up. I'll show you from the side. Forward, up. Make sure your legs are always moving. Okay, if this is getting too heavy, you can always just do a body weight. Now we're going to do a single arm dumbbell swing. Again, if it's too heavy, you can use both hands to help you. At 15 seconds, you're going to switch hands. Or you can just keep switching hands as you swing. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to swing up, change hands. Okay, but please make sure your back is not curled. Okay, I want you to make sure chest up, back straight. Okay, stand up fast, use the momentum, let gravity pull the weight back down, and just keep swinging. Eye level is fine, okay? Don't go swinging over your head, so it's behind you. Okay, almost there, five seconds, let's go. Okay, next one, you're going to feel a little bit of a burn. Jumping squats with a pulse. So two jumping squats, two pulses. If you can't do a jumping squat, you can just do a normal squat. Okay? So squat, one, two, pulse. One, two, one, two. Okay, the chest up, one, two, one, two. You feeling the burn yet? I'm feeling it! Woo! Use the hand to help you. 
You're not arcing your back. Okay, in a very neutral position. Okay, if you find yourself compensating with your back, the weight might be a little bit too heavy for you. Okay, change hand. Woo. Okay, last exercise for the set. Bobby plank jack. Remember when you go down, Two plank jacks before you come up, okay? Let's go. Burpee, one, two, in, up. Okay? So shoot out, one, two, with the legs in, and jump. Remember your jump at the end of the burpee. So, jump. And that is not up. Okay, good job guys. That was one set. We're gonna take a break now for 45 seconds. Go get your water, go get your towel, catch your breath. Uh, if you're working with a partner, give your partner a pat on the back. Good job, you're one third of the way. Two more rounds, two more rounds. So I've already gone through the exercises with you once. Hopefully the second set you'll be a little bit more familiar. So try and pick up the pace, push yourself a bit more. And then the last set, we're gonna go all out, okay? Because, oh yeah, you got dessert, but it's okay, you'll be fine. If you can survive till this far, you'll be fine. Ready, guys? Five seconds. Back to weighted jumping jack. Let's go. Forward. Okay, you make sure your arms are straight out in front of you and straight above you. Tiny is your leg. So basically your legs just keep going open, close, open, close. Okay? And then the arms will just follow the beat. Okay. Now we're gonna do the single arm dumbbell swing. Okay, you don't have to alternate hands like I do. You can just do one hand for 15 seconds and then switch over. Okay? One, okay, I'll do it with you. We'll do it 15 seconds on one arm, then we'll switch over. Okay? So remember, bend the knees slightly, let gravity pull the weight down, stand up fast, get momentum, swing it up. That's why I call a swing. Swing it to eye level. Okay, make sure your back is straight. Okay, change hand, let's go. A little more than halfway. Looking good, guys. Okay, next, the bird uh, jumping squat with two powders. Like I said, it gets too much for you. You can switch to a normal squat. Okay? Squat, explode. Explode, pow. One, two, three. So explode one. So two, pow. One, two, then go up. Two, pow. Okay, if this is too much for you, like I said, to do a normal squat. Turn away from apart, squat to turn around. One, two, stand up first. Go back down, pound two times. Stand up, and then continue. Okay? So go one squat, two squat, out. <sighs> okay, I not press. So I did on the right arm earlier. Um, I'm going to do on the left. I'll let you know when 15 seconds so you can stop the arm. That's if you're doing 15 seconds to arm, okay? Go so curl and press. Oh, my left hand is weaker. Woo, curl and press. So one fluid movement. You're gonna curl immediately. Push up. Okay, make sure your arm is next to your ears. Okay, so I don't want to see people doing this. Whoa. Okay, I also don't want to see people doing that. 
Okay, I don't know how you're doing this. Please don't injure your shoulder. So curl, press straight up. Okay, oops, I've got to tell you where to watch things again. Okay, burpee plank jack. After this, you get 45 seconds rest. See how fast? After this, you'll be done with two sets. And you have one last round. Okay, the more you talk, the faster you go. Oh shit, okay. Uh, burpee. Bring Jack up. Make sure you jump, okay? Okay, but for those who have knee problems, I feel you. You can just do stand and then go back down, okay? Those who are having any problems again with your knee, you can just go one leg out, second leg out, two plank jacks, then come back in, okay? The rest of you, no excuses. Woo. Okay. 45 seconds rest, then we have one more set to go. One more set, guys. Okay, we'll come this far. Good job for not giving up. Okay, you're already, what's two thirds? 66.66666666666666 something percent. That's okay. And then we have one more round to go. So the good news is you're only doing all these exercises one more time. Uh, the not so good news is we still have dessert after this. But uh, hey, everybody loves dessert, right? Okay, 10 seconds more, back to your weighted jumping jacks. Okay guys, everything you have left in the tank, okay? Leave no man behind, nothing behind. Ready? Go! Keep going. Okay, you want to go faster? You jump faster, so basically, move your legs faster, your arms will follow. Okay, out. Forward, up. Forward, up. Forward, up. Come on, come on, 15 seconds guys. Show you from the side. Let's go. Last time we'll be doing this exercise. Unless you want to watch my video like on loop, which I don't mind. Woo. Okay. Now for single arm dumbbell swing. Okay. Again, um, you can alternate your hands while doing it, or you can change at 15 seconds. Let's go. I'm going to alternate my hands, okay? If you're doing this, please be careful when you're switching hands, okay? Um, I chose not to wear shoes because um, I prefer to do it when I'm at, I prefer not to have shoes when I'm at home. But if you're going to use heavy weights or you're, you feel more comfortable with shoes, please go ahead and wear your shoes, okay? Come on, five seconds more. Pick it up. Go. Okay, jumping squats with pals. Oh, this is the burner of the day. Okay, 30 seconds, just 30 seconds. Ready? So squat, explode one. Two, pals one, two, one. Two, pals one, two, one. Two, pals one, two, one. Two, one. Use your hands to help you. Explode one. Two. Make sure you're not caving forward. Keep the chest up. Woo. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Hang in there, guys. Go. Oh. And we're done for that. Yay! No more jumping squats. Okay. I'm not fresh. Here we go. Woo. Last two exercises, guys. Last two. Okay. Ready? Curl. Press. Curl. Press. Come on. Curl. Press. Keep the back straight. Keep smiling. I can't see you. I'm going to assume that you're smiling because you love this workout. And you love me. Yay. Okay, I'm going to switch hands. Okay, we're almost there guys. We're almost there. Curl. Press. And I just need last 30 seconds from you guys, okay? Just 30 seconds more. After this, I promise you'll get a break. Burpee, plank jack, everything you have left in the tank, ready. Here we go. Come on. So out, plank jack, in, jump. Out, plank jack, two times, in, jump. Come on, come on. Pick up your head. This is your last 30 seconds. Keep going. Don't give up on me. Just let the heart rate go up. Then you catch your breath later. 
is core. I, uh, I prepared a core complex for you. Okay, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're going to do alternating jackknife. So our alternating jackknife is your right hand to your left leg. So one, okay, then the other hand, two. Now we're to come up with the V up, both legs up, then go back down, come back up, knee tuck one, knee tuck two, Russian twist one, two, Three, four. Okay, that is one rep. I know, I know, I know, I hear you, I hear all the. Uh, I can hear you from here. Okay, we're gonna do. Okay, I'll give you anything. Mm, let's do three reps. Okay, so three of that. Uh, three times. So three sets of three reps. Okay, and then that's it. And then we're going to pull out. I promise you, this is the last segment. Okay, you can leave a comment below if you want to kill me later. And here we go. One, two, come up first, go back down, then knee tuck. One, two, then one, two, three, four. Now there's one rep, go back down. One, two, both legs. Okay, bring the knees in. One, two, one, two, three, four. One more. Alternate hand, alternate leg. Bow. Come on, your knees. One, two, one, two, three, four. Last one. Let's go. One, two, four legs. Woo! Bring the knees in. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh! Okay, that was one set. Okay, rest a little bit. We're gonna do two more of those. Okay, so three more reps plus three more reps equals six more reps, and then you will pull up. Okay, I am. Wetting bucket. Okay, you ready guys? Okay, let's do this. Let's try to keep it continuously. If you cannot, you can do one rep, pause, catch your breath, and then continue. Okay, so start with hands behind you. Let's go. One, two, three. Knee tuck in. Two, one, two, three, four. Go back down. The whole point is try not to let your arms and your legs come down throughout the entire time. Last one. Woo. Hey, yeah. One, two, legs out. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was three reps, right? Did I do three reps? I think so. Hmm. Okay, one more set. One more set, one more set, and then we'll be done. For real this time, okay? Woo. Okay, ready? Just try to keep it continuous. Okay, so the whole point is to keep your shoulders and your um, hamstring, your thighs off the ground at all times. Okay, last three reps, everybody! Ready, go! One, two, both legs, three. Knee in one, two, one, two, three, four. I should go back down. One, Two, both legs. Knee, knee. One, two, three, four. Last set, guys. Let's go. One, two. Oh my god. And belly there. Knee in one. Two. One, two, three, four. Yay! Okay. Good job. Okay, hey, that's on the back. Yay, yeah, you survived this. You survive uh, dinner with Cheryl or lunch with Cheryl, whatever time you're doing this, right? I gave you three causes. <laughs> Appetizer, main cause, and dessert. So now let's cool down. Okay, um, let's do it. Okay, um, I'm not a yoga instructor, but I'm just going to take you through some yoga poses. Okay, get a towel. Okay, you want to go into your cobra pose. It's very good for stretching your abs. 
Especially after that core complex, bend your arms slightly. Oh, this should feel very relaxing for your lower back, for your abs. Okay, close your eyes. Oh, how do you guys feel? I feel amazing. Sometimes it's very hard to wake up and try to exercise, but maybe you can like call your friends and say, hey, let's all do this workout together. Get on Zoom, watch the same YouTube video, and then you'll be over before you know it. Okay, from here, let's go into downward dog, stretch the calves. Again, I am not a yoga instructor and I am not the most flexible person in the world. So, I'm just going to try. Whew. Try to go deeper into it. Okay, let's do the lizard stretch. So your right leg outside your right hand. And I want you to stretch, feel the stretch on your hamstrings. I'm dripping with sweat. Please stretch more on your own after this, okay? Drink lots of water. I hope you sleep like a baby tonight. Because I think I will. Okay, let's go to the last one. Child's pose just to relax. Just relax everything. Let the tension leave your fingers, leave your elbows, leave your ears, leave your shoulders, leave your toes. Just take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. And we are done. Yay. Good job, everybody. Um, really, really, really proud of you for turning up, showing up, and completing this workout. Don't worry if you felt like you were struggling. I mean, we all have to start somewhere. We're all of different fitness levels. If some of the exercises were too difficult, you can always regress them ditch the weight, do body weight. The next time you do it again, try the lighter weight and then progress from there. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me. I'm Cheryl and I hope you had a great session.